UK for round six of TCR UK. I just uh, had my a warm up now and it was okay. And uh, this weekend I'm gonna drive a different car than I normally drive. So I'm gonna drive a Honda Civic instead of my uh, golf car. Uh, so it's gonna be uh, a bit different. Uh, and I'm very, very excited for this weekend. It's gonna be really fun, I think. At the moment it's a bit raining and cloudy, so we will see what the weather will do, but we will see. The qualifying is done. I ended up uh, on position, so that was really great. I'm really happy, and uh, I managed to get a good lap together in the end, and I got a, a really good lap in, on a drying track. So I'm really pleased with the P1. So now I have pulled more for race one. So that was a great uh, qualifying. So thanks a lot, the uh, for the team. ahead of us here at Croft as the revs start to rise. The lights go out, we're away in racing and it's a good start by the looks of it from Beckman from pole position. Ollie Taylor I think he's going to have to slot through into second position. Billy Crocker made a good start behind as well and Jessica Beckman going backwards slightly as they head down in towards Glovo for the first time. Beckman leads the way, Taylor second. Abrasive surface here at Croft, tyre management is absolutely crucial so it's all well and good scarpering off into the distance early on but you have to keep the tyres underneath you over the full 20 minutes and that is easier said than done. We always see tyre and about a second or so away from their fastest lap times. Andreas Beckman with a 27.8. Molly Taylor with a 28.5. Only just can't keep up with Andreas, who is as flamboyant as ever there. He may be in a new car this weekend, uh, but it doesn't seem to be holding him back. If anything, he's having, well, quite clearly, his best showing so far in the series. Qualifying for pole position for the first time, leading the race with less than half of it to go. And so far, at least, there doesn't really seem to be all that much indication that the tyres are going away from him. This is going to happen in the last few corners. Andreas Beckman though is only two corners away from his first appearance on the top step of the podium in TCR racing. In fact, in any form of circuit racing, this is going to be a really emotional moment for the Beckmans. They've had podiums, both, both Andreas and Jessica, but this is the first victory in TCR UK for Andreas Beckman, a fantastic light to the flag victory for the Swedish driver. <laughs> So my first uh, race win uh, was really good. Uh, I had a really good start and, and then from that I could just uh, push everything through the race and uh, in the end I end up winning so I'm really pleased with that. Uh, big thanks both to West Coast Racing and also to Sean Walker Show Racing for a great job and uh, now for race two I will start fifth so we'll see what we can do from there. But I had the fastest lap now in race one so I think it, it can be a good race, race two also. Hold the bridge. The final race of the weekend here from Croft is about to get underway. Bridge, the lights go out, we're away.
for Andreas Beckman. It's a win and a podium for the youngster. Not a bad weekend's work at all. His sister, Jessica, is in fourth position. Yeah, so now uh, the weekend is uh, finished. Uh, we had to hurry up to go to the flight, so that's why we are on the flight now. But uh, it was a really good race. Um, I ended up uh, first in race one and third in race two, so that was a really good weekend. And also uh, my position yesterday was really good, so good points from this weekend. So now I'm looking forward to the next race in a couple of weeks' time uh, back in Sweden. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you in next week.